Día de los Muertos is such a wonderful tradition. It really has to do with uh, the roots, indigenous roots in Mexican culture. Día de los Muertos is not necessarily actually a day, but it's a festival. It runs from October 30th to November 2nd, and it is the oldest Mexican celebration. It dates to the pre-Hispanic time of the pre-Columbian period, 2500 to 3,000 years ago. Additionally, the Aztecs had something in July and August called the Great Feast of the Dead. But in the 16th century, when the Spaniards came and conquered Mexico, uh, they relocated the, the festival to be closer to Hallowed Eve, which is our Halloween. The Aztecs at their time, when they celebrated the Great Feast of the Dead, overlapped it with the harvest of beans, rice, chickpeas, corn, and pumpkin. And it became part of their offering during the Feast of the Dead to the ruler of the afterlife. Pan de Muertos is a European import. It, is, it consists of butter, cane sugar, and wheat flour, which at the time weren't in Mesoamerica. It was believed that when people died, they had a long journey to heaven and needed food, water, candles to light the way. Mexican culture is really a fusion of Indian cultures that existed in Mexico before the conquest and Spanish culture, really the influence of Catholicism and Christianity. The Catholic Church actually did not approve of the Day of the Dead rituals. They felt that these were quite pagan, and uh, certainly with the Aztec heritage, there was a fair amount of uh, sac human sacrifice and a lot of blood and uh, gore. So the Catholic Church, when, when the Spaniards came into Mexico in the 16th century, you could say tamed the Day of the Dead. Traditionally, what happens in the during the, the preparation period is that houses are cleaned and furniture is moved to make way for the altars. Most families go to cemeteries and they picnic at grave sites. And some, in some areas of Mexico, people spend the entire night visiting with the spirits of their loved ones. And now everything in Mexican culture has one degree of, it's either more European or more indigenous, uh, whether it's food, whether it's culture, whether it's the music, you can really trace back even the influence inside the Spanish language, the word Mexico itself is an Aztec word. So we have a lot of indigenous roots in the Spanish that we speak in Mexico. So it's really a, a fusion of these two worlds that collided. And that's really the diversity and the beauty of Mexican culture.